So if anyone had told me when I started this channel that the bathtub fitter video that I did about 10 years ago would be one of my top videos with tons of comments asking me to come back and talk about how the tub has held up uh, over the years. I have a bit of free time today, so let's get right into it. And over the years, it has held up. Let's get a closer look at, at it. We actually expanded, so now we have two bathrooms. Turn the light on here. Um, that's me. Hey, guys. So inside here, I'm going to zoom out so you guys can see, is the tub. And this tub was installed in 2015 summer, exactly eight years ago this summer. And this is how it looked. I know you guys are like, is this thing still there or not? It looks good. We don't clean this um, with anything extreme. But once a week or several times a week, if the kids are bathing in here, we'll just put soft scrub and a sponge, one of those sponges, and wipe it down. The tiles here, I definitely want to upgrade these. Um, when we go to the second bathroom, I'll show you guys what we did in that bathroom, and that's kind of what we want eventually for this bathroom. Like these pictures are getting really old. Uh, I want to get rid of that. But the tub still is still here. The caulking was done when um, we, re we recently redid this bathroom, so the caulking was done by the guys doing the bathroom. Um, we redid the tiles on the floor. So they kind of caulked around the top. So some of the caulking is new, but the original caulking was kind of chipping away um, there. But we do want to replace this top maybe in the next year or two with what we have in the second bathroom when we get there. Another issue is that our, our super on the property, we came and took off the original bat feathers um, stopper there and installed this thing. He power drilled it on and it cracked the top here and there. So if you guys are replacing the original bat feeder and the water stopper with one of these and our super is like, this is much better, it, it catches hair or whatever big items, make sure you don't use a power tool or this is what will happen. But this is how it looks. Everything's still good. Uh, you can still see the bat feeder logo there. Barely, it's like kind of raised there. So you know it's legit. <laughs> it's not a different tub. It's the same tub you guys saw in that video that I put up here like six years ago. And this tub has been here for a while now. Tub still looks good. Highly recommend it. Like I said, the prices went up over the years. So you're not going to go into bad fitters and get the same product here for, I, I, I want to say we paid 1900 for this. You're not going to get it for that price. Prices all went up. So let's go to the second bathroom where the kids usually bathe and we'll... So this bathroom is brand new. It was gutted and redone uh, last summer. So everything in here was installed exactly a year ago, last summer, August of 2022. It's me again. Hey guys. Kids and their scooters. Behind here we did a new bath fitter. We called them back. So we did a ceiling to, I guess, tub. Full thing, even the window sills, they came and done this. And they went all the way to the ceiling. The hi-hats are all new in here. Um, they installed this thing. Kids could come in and bathe themselves without... We have an eight-year-old and a five-year-old, so it's just simply flipping this on and, um, and pulling this up. <laughs> Sorry. And then they could bathe themselves. You have like a mini shower in there for kids. So Backfitter installed all that. We did need a permit because of the plumbing done. But this is all... I believe it wasn't like deep wall plumbing. It was all cosmetic. Uh, and the the hardware in this tub was identical to what you just saw in our in our in the bathroom me and my wife uses. So they were able to convert that hardware into something that's user friendly, especially for kids. Like look at that, like it's already preset to a temperature, and all they have to do is turn that on, pull that up, and bathe themselves. Uh, you also have shelves for them installed. Bathfitters did all of this. Everything was all included in one price. They came out here, they did everything, uh, bat fitters, so new tub. And this material, I really like it. It's really easy to clean. Uh, it doesn't feel like plastic. It feels a bit like porcelain. Um, and we have a little pattern there, which is really cool. The only gripe here is this curtain rod. It is horrible. It's not solid. It doesn't stay on the wall. I don't really like it. Eventually, I may just replace that. Or I may just even just put a sliding door back in here. Um, the reason we don't like the glass door, we like these soft curtains, is because we have kids, and if one of them slips and hits the glass, and it breaks, and you have an issue there. So um, bathroom construction to redo a whole bathroom is like 20 grand in 2023. Mark looked around, shopped around, and that's what it costs. To say, to do your tub and a wall and have this under 10 grand, I think it's not a bad deal. And to clean this, guys, all we do is we put a little bit of soft scrub on this Mr. Happy, scrub down the walls, 
And when they installed this, the guy did mention that these are anti uh, soap scum or whatever. So this is not gonna get soap scum or mildew or mold. All this is anti mold, anti mildew. And like I said, this has been in here a year. Uh, you don't need to clean it as much, but look, there's no mold on there. So this is anti mold stuff, which is kind of cool. I don't know the technology behind it. I'm not an expert. Don't ask me questions in the comments. I'm not gonna answer those questions. So, but Google Bathfitter, look up their website. Really good stuff. We really like it. Like we liked it so much, we went back and we knew the product is is good. This is the water stopper uh, that that fitters installed. If you have a lot of hair, um, I'm pretty much bald, but my kids have hair. My wife has hair. This doesn't do anything to catch hair in it when you bathe, so that's why he preferred the mesh um, cover. Uh, but. I think, I don't know if Batfitter offered the option, like this was the only option they had. Um, but my super doesn't like that for that one reason, cause hair, uh, my son bathed with toys sometimes, Legos. But I like it, it, it suits the tub, it looks classy. Um, like I said, just be careful when you bathe and you'll be fine. And that's it guys. All right, thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one, bye.